What's up, Bee Nation? Today is an exciting day because we finally made it to the town of Shashi. It is this tiny little town up in the mountains between Dali and Lijiang. It is so secluded. We are so excited to be here. And it's like a little village. And today we're gonna rent some bikes, explore this village, and maybe find some hiking trails that we can yes. go up in the mountains on. And it's very interesting to see these bricks here because normally the houses are built out of concrete now and this is like a symbol of the past when they used to make bricks out of clay from the ground. Okay, so we rented our bikes and now we are off. There's like no one on the road because this is such a small village. Plus it's a Saturday. Oh yeah, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> It's really funny because people look at us like we're crazy for riding bikes. Even though they have motorbikes, it's just the fact that we're riding actual bikes. They're like, what are you doing? Sorry for the wind. We just got here. We rode our bikes and we are at... Shiboshan Mountain. We think that's what it's called. We're not exactly sure where this leads or how far we're going, but we are here and we're in nature and that's all that matters. So this bridge behind us does not look very sturdy. And I'm a little nervous about crossing it. Ah, I don't like it. I was just saying to Zach that the tops of these rocks, like, it kind of looks like dragon scales. <gasps> Right at crossroads. That one's harder, and that one's easier. just got off the mountain, we are walking down still, we're about to go get some really good dinner because we have not had vegetables in eight meals now. Yeah, it's been a bunch of noodles, some tofu. We just made it back. We're back in town at our favorite spot. And we got, what would you call this? Yogurt like rice? A yogurt smoothie, but like plain yogurt with red rice in it. Instead of boba. It's so good. I think we found our place for dinner. We ran up the hill, we got off the bikes, Leah was super tired, and now we are at this restaurant in the middle of the street that we love. And after this, if it's really good, we might go get some french fries for dessert, but that's only if we saw it grow, so that we will. This was actually quite easy compared to other places we've ordered at, because they have some pictures. So we got this, and this, and she like took me to the counter where there's like a bunch of vegetables, and I like looked at snow peas. And then she was like pointing at the chicken and she was like pointing at the peas and she was like Together. And so I think we're getting some kind of like chicken, snow pea, snappy mixture. 
so weird that all their plastic wear comes pre-wrapped. Like, you must know that it's clean. Look at that pool of water. That's going right to you. The whole potato, so... Yay, thank you! Yum! So, we have pretty much... It looks like breakfast hash browns, which I am excited for. Maybe we won't get fries later. Didn't think about it. And now we have eggs with, like, pretty much just a bunch of onions. Sometimes we're deprived of like chicken, so we'll pop for eggs instead. And it just like not having your own kitchen to make breakfast, which we would eat eggs a lot. Eggs taste so good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's pork or chicken. She showed it to me raw. I really couldn't tell. But ah, uh, greenery, vegetables. Ugh, no idea what the best way to attack this. <laughs> mm. Mm. Best hash browns ever. It's like a spicy hash brown with sesame oil Yum. and green onions. It's really good. Now for the snap peas. It tastes like the stir fried vegetables out of the frozen section bag. It's good, it's what we needed, but it just tastes like the stir fried vegetable, like I'm getting that vibe. That's the first time we've had anything that tastes remotely like something at home in China. I have not eaten that food in a while. It's good. It's, it's greasy. It's yeah. Good. <laughs> and now we're walking the streets, the deserted streets I might add, on Saturday. It's kind of peaceful not having people around us after being in big cities recently. Yeah. So it's gonna be super nice. This dirt wall is incredible. I mean, I have no idea how old this thing is, but this is amazing. We've been walking around and I just realized that we never told you why we came to Shashi. Leah found it on a blog post and was like, hey, well, how do you feel about going to this farm oasis that meets old and new in this weird place? Because all the places we're going to are just like, everything's brand new. But this yeah. still has some of the old things. Either really brand new or super touristy, mm -hmm. where it's like kind of past the point of like charming. Yeah. It's just really touristy. So this place is still like in between. Like you can tell that there's a lot of hotels coming here, but it's mostly real. We're on the brink. Yeah. yeah. And we've really, really enjoyed it. Okay, we got the boba tea. We want to try it really bad. However, we're trying to get back to our hotel so we can, oh, the sunset. So we can see sunset on the mountain. It's gonna be amazing if we can make it in time. Up and then back down and then over. 